Hello everybody and welcome back to Luton. My name's Jason and this channel is all about our journey to become more self-sufficient in vegetables, fruits, eggs and maybe some honey. Now, if you've been following the channel and you've been watching the videos, I've been reviewing the uh, Yang Gel uh, LED propagator set available on Amazon and I bought the six uh, propagator uh, set so you get six of these with an LED light that you plug into the controls and I began experimenting with some broccoli and I don't think I quite set the experiment up and the videos on the channel if you go back so we re-ran the experiment in a different way and that was using marigolds so two trays of marigolds one left on the windowsill here, south facing windowsill, uh, once germination started, and the other one was put in this cupboard in the dark, once germinating had started, under the LED lights. And they've been in those positions for seven days. They haven't been watered, nothing. So it's time to have a look at the results. So this is the tray that was left on the windowsill and I would say they are a little bit leggy and I think I now know why that is it isn't because they're not getting enough light because we've had some pretty bright days here and this windowsill is south facing I think it's because I use this room as an office and on an evening I'm in here working editing videos etc and I have the strip light on and I've noticed that quite a few of the seedlings are leaning towards that light on the night time. So I think that's why they've gone a bit leggy. Other than that, I think the ones that have been growing on the windowsill are pretty healthy, starting to grow proper leaves now, main leaves. And overall, they just need potting on a little bit deeper than they are now. And giving their own growing space and they will come on and be nice marigolds to put out amongst my veggies later in the year. So onto the tray that has been left in the cupboard with the lights on 12 hours a day and as you can see there is a big difference in growth. really these just aren't leggy that's the difference um, so the light has done its job it's done a good job in my opinion and has kept the, the, the plants from stretching for light and they're looking pretty healthy you know and they haven't seen daylight for over a week now they're also growing main leaves and coming on nicely in fact i would say that these plants the main leaves are now actually slightly bigger than these and also there's a, a difference in green the shade of green the ones that have been under the lights are a much darker green than the ones that haven't been under the lights. I, I don't understand the science or whatever chemistry behind that. I don't know why that would be, but there is a definite difference. Either way, both of these trays of marigolds are looking healthy. They need potting on, and then they will be left on this windowsill to continue their growth so as this is a review video I'm going to give the Yang Gel uh, propagator set the thumbs up it, it it's done its job it does what it says on the tin and it has allowed these plants to grow without getting leggy they're a healthy green color they're developing proper leaves and 
I'm happy with that. that that's that's what he's supposed to do. Do I need to have them? The, the, the grow lights? Possibly not because I have this room here which is a very bright room. That said, we've had some good weather lately as in it's been bright and sunny. Has it had it been a dark overcast rainy February so far these seedlings wouldn't be as far developed in this tray and it may well be that the ones that have been under the lights were further developed than these but we don't know we, we didn't get those weather conditions but as far as I'm concerned next year I will probably start some of my seedlings off just a little bit earlier even and keep them in a warm place under the lights and let them develop even if it is a bit slower than being in natural daylight. So my conclusion is I'm going to wrap up this experiment now and in my opinion and bear in mind I've got no affiliation to Yang Girl. They haven't, I bought these on Amazon to try them and for my own use. I've never even spoken to anybody at that company. So this is a completely independent review. And in my opinion, they're worth their money. 26 quid for six of these with the propagated covers and the LED lights and the controls and everything else and I've explained all of that in the previous review videos. So there you go guys, for 26 quid you could set yourself up with an indoor grow system for the winter months and start your seedlings off under lights, keeping them warm, developing them earlier in the season than normal and getting a jump start in the spring because you will have plants that are much further developed than if you were trying to start them on a windowsill or in a greenhouse etc so that's it thanks for watching if you've enjoyed the video please give it the thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do we're going to be running lots of little experiments over the the future videos that are coming out and i think the next one's going to be on potatoes and also follow our journey to develop the ground that we've got to grow vegetables etc so thanks very much i'll see you on the next video